I can only imagine what that would do to the quality of the product, though. Yo, what's good, everybody, and welcome to the Reefer Report. Today's episode is sponsored by Sweeto, Arizona, and I want to talk to you about Schedule 3 and cannabis. With all the buzz surrounding the two lately, I felt like I needed to do my due diligence, do my research, and present my findings to you. That way, we can get the discussions flowing and get everybody's ideas going. So kick back, relax, get something rolled up or not, but without further ado, Let's get it. And here we go. So if you did not know, the U.S. government has officially confirmed its recommendation to place marijuana in Schedule 3 of the Controlled Substances Act. The Department of Health and Human Services released documents prompted by a lawsuit acknowledging marijuana's accepted medical use and lower abuse potential compared to substances in Schedule 1 and 2. The documents highlight over 30,000 health care professionals across 43 U.S. jurisdictions authorized to recommend medical marijuana for over 6 million patients. While this move could impact research barriers and federal tax deductions for cannabis businesses, the final decision rests with the DEA and the timing remains uncertain. So if you did not know, marijuana is currently a Schedule 1 drug, which is defined as drugs, substances, or chemicals with no currently accepted medical use and a high potential for abuse. It sits on a list alongside other substances like heroin, LSD, ecstasy, meth, and peyote. That's absolutely crazy. So I know what you're asking, what does that all mean? So for the consumer, the potential reclassification of marijuana to Schedule 3 by the U.S. government could have several implications. If the recommendation is accepted by the DEA, it might lead to increased accessibility and acceptability of medical marijuana. The acknowledgement of its accepted medical use and lower abuse potential could potentially pave the way for expanded medical applications and treatment options. However, the move to Schedule 3 could potentially impact research barriers, allowing for more comprehensive scientific studies on marijuana's medical benefits and risks. This in turn could lead to a better understanding of its effectiveness for various medical conditions. However, it's essential to note that the final decision rests with the DEA and the timing of any announcement remains uncertain. So as the consumer, just stay informed and just remember that development of any regulations and changes may take time to materialize and influence the market. So I asked chat to simplify all this shit for me because if you're like me and when in legal jargon getting tossed out shit gets jumbled up so in the most simplest terms imagine the government is considering changing the classification of marijuana currently is considered a controlled substance but they're thinking of moving it to a category that acknowledges its medical benefits this could mean more acceptance of marijuana for medical use if this change happens it might become easier for people to access medical marijuana and it could be used more widely for treating different health conditions the government is also looking at making it easier for researchers to study marijuana's medical effects which could lead to more information about how helpful it really is for businesses and Involved in selling marijuana, this change might bring some financial benefits, possibly leading to lower prices for consumers. However, keep in mind that these are just considerations at the moment and that the final decision hasn't been made yet. It's a bit like the government is reviewing its rules around marijuana, and if they decide to make these changes, it could impact how people use and access it for medical reasons. So my only question to you is, what do you think? Let me know in the comment section below. I got my thoughts, but I'm going to save that for part two. So be sure to hit the like, subscribe, and follow button. That way you can keep up with part two and any other reefer report from here moving forward. I appreciate y'all for tuning in. I appreciate our sponsor, Sweeto. Make sure you give them follow as well. And I'll catch y'all here on the next reefer report. See ya.